Potter was one of the biggest franchises of all time. And now the magic is returning to the silver screen with the spin-off Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I'm here at the red carpet in London to chat to some of the cast. Don't panic, but there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Did you feel pressured to live up to the success of the Harry Potter franchise? You do feel a, a, a little bit of pressure, and the, but, but the pressure kind of is because all of us involved were sort of fans of the Potter films ourselves, so you just don't want to be the one that goes and screws it up for your own sense of expectations. And we're here from Ireland, so we do have to ask you, what was it like working with Colin Farrell? I love Colin Farrell. I have like a full-on man crush on Colin Farrell. We all have crushes on him too. I, I, I've like sort of known him from a, a, a distance for a long time, but actually getting to work with him, he's just, he's everything you'd expect and more. He's an incredibly kind man. That has the most awesome eyebrows in Christendom. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now that you know JK Rowling, do you think you could convince her to get news to come to Ireland in a sequel? You know, I mean, you never know. Like, I feel like the, the answer is almost certainly. Like, yeah. I feel like what's interesting about Newt Travels the World and all of his creatures, if you read, there's a little book called Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and in that you'll find all the creatures have come from specific parts of the world. And so I think there's definitely scope for travel. So um, I hope so, because I've never been to Ireland, which I'm ashamed of. Oh, you haven't. You have to come. I know. It's kind of horrifically embarrassing. And I've heard, I'll be your tour guide. Please. But I've heard so many times how wonderful it is, and yeah. several of my best mates are Irish, and so I, they, they kind of gently rip me on it every yeah. time. Different kind of magic happens there with alcohol. <laughs> okay, there you go. A lot of Guinness. Uh, your baby girl, Iris, are you excited for her to watch a movie like this when she grows up? She's only four months old, so it could be a while before she's, okay. uh, before she's allowed to see this. I hope so. The theory of everything might be a bit be strong. A bit what was it like working with Colin Farrell? I know everybody from Ireland, <laughs> that's the first question they ask. Terrible. He's just so difficult. And He's the worst. And unattractive. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm such a big fan of his, have been for a very long time. He's an amazing, like, kind, generous man, and what he does in the film is a testament to his talent. Were you a Harry Potter fan before? Did you have to read up on it? I was a huge Harry Potter fan. Were you? Huge, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when your agent called you, you were like, yes. I uh, was more than yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was far more than yes. This is such a big franchise to be a part of. Was it a little bit scary signing on, or were you just excited? You know, they could have just been like, okay, you're playing a deformed uh, weirdo, and you have, like, you don't have a head. And they were like, they, I would have been like, yes, I love it, I'm in. Yeah.